Hello 3D printing friends! Today on the BV3D channel, we'll get a look at what I think is the world's most expensive filament dryer. Stick around and we'll get into it right after this. I am Brian, and you are watching BV3D. This episode of the BV3D channel is brought to you in part by these awesome channel members. Becoming a member is a great way to support the channel and has a few perks besides just getting your name in lights here. Click the join button to find out more. Hi, welcome back. Hey, if you're new here and you're wanting to learn about 3D printing, 3D modeling, and other 3D printing related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so today we're going to get a look at what is possibly the most expensive filament dryer that's also available for free. Terms and conditions may apply. Is it this one from Sunlu? No. How about this other one from Sunlu? Also, no. Okay, is it this one from iBoss? Alas, no, it's none of those. The filament dryer that I believe to be the most expensive one is right here, and it's the Bamboo Lab X1 Series 3D printer. So wait, how is a 3D printer a filament dryer? Well, in my filament dryer review videos, there are usually a few comments from someone saying, hey, you don't need that filament dryer. You can just put the filament on the printer's bed and run the bed at your chosen drying temperature and just cover the filament with the box that it came in. And honestly, they've got a valid point. Drying filament is really nothing more than heating it up for several hours to try to force the moisture out of it. So, in that regard, no, you don't strictly need a purpose-built filament dryer to dry your filament. And the smart people at Bamboo Lab apparently know about the just put the filament on the bed trick too, because the latest firmware for the printer literally turns the printer into a filament dryer. Now, by the way, if you haven't updated the firmware on your Bamboo Lab X1 series printer, go do that now. It's super easy. Just tap the hex icon on the left side of the screen, then tap the general tab. Tap Firmware Version, and if an update is available, tap the Update button. A few minutes later, the printer's firmware is up to date. So anyway, like I was saying, in the latest firmware, Bamboo Lab added a dry filament feature. Let me show you how to get to it. From the home screen, tap the Controls icon. Then tap the Utilities tab. And there in Utilities is the new Dry Filament button. Tap that. It's got some instructions on the screen to walk you through the process. Step one basically says unload the filament from the tool head and make sure there's nothing on or under the bed. Step two says tap prepare to move the tool head and the bed into position. Step three says put the filament spool on the bed and cover it with a lid made from a filament box. And it says you can use a cover that's printed with a high temperature material if you want to, and they have a file available for that, but I think the cardboard filament box idea works fine. Step four says pick your filament type and adjust the drying time if you need to, and tap start. The temperature and duration are preset for all these filament types. Now it also says to flip the spool over halfway through the drying process for best results. So start it up and let it run, and when it finishes, you will have dried your filament. So, at the beginning of the video, I said I'd show you the world's most expensive filament dryer that was also available for free, but that terms and conditions may apply. And what I meant by terms and conditions is that you already own a 3D printer. I don't think there are any filament dryers that are more expensive than a decent 3D printer, although there may be some spectacularly bad 3D printers in the $80 range, which is at the high end of purpose-built filament dryer prices. And so, yes, you can 100% use this process manually with any 3D printer if it has a heated bed big enough to hold a spool of filament on its side. This process does not specifically require that you own a Bamboo Lab X1 series printer. Now that said, I think it's pretty sweet that Bamboo Lab has automated this heating and drying process to a certain degree and keeps adding features to their printers through firmware updates. Well, 3D printing friends, that's about all the time we have for this episode. And now that we're at the end, let's go print something cool. Hey, real quick before you go, I wanted to say thanks for being one of the super awesome people who sticks around all the way to the end, and thanks for all the likes, comments, and shares. And an especially big thanks to those who directly support what I do. You're all wonderful for doing that, and I really appreciate it. 
If you liked this video, a thumbs up would be great. And if you'd like to help support the channel, check the description for ways you can do exactly that. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's absolutely free and it's an excellent way to help keep me making these videos for you. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time here on the BV3D channel.